Mabuhay at mapalad tayong lahat. Isang mainit at matamis na pagbati mula sa ating parokya, sa ating mga kaparian at mga opisyalis ng ating Paris Pastoral Council. Alam na nga ba ninyo ang tungkol sa Golden Foundation Anniversary ng ating simbahan dito sa Dilpan? Ito ay mangyayari na sa March 2021 makalipas ang lim- Mampung taon ng ating paglalakbay bilang isang parokya. Napakalaking biyaya ito. Isang pambihirang karangalan ito dito sa atin sa Dilpan at sa buong simbahan. Kaya naman sama-sama nating paghahandaan ang kaganapang ito. Huwag nating palampasin na hindi pulo ang bawat isa sa atin ng kaloob at biyaya ng Diyos. Tara sa isang mabilis na balik tanaw. Ayon sa kasaysayan na nakarating sa ating kaalaman, noong November 30, 1970, isang Santo Papa ang dumalaw sa parokya ng Santo Niño ng Tondo. Ang pangalan niya ay si Pope Paul VI. Sa pagkakataon din na yun, diniklara niya na maging isang bagong parokya ang kinasasakupan ng Delpan. Yan ay ang Claro M. Recto Corner Asuncion Street, Moriones Corner Waga Street, San Antonio 1 and 2, Barrio Fugoso, Los Riminda Village, Isla Puting Bato, Sleep Zero, Mabuhay at North Harbor Area. Dahil nga dito, noong March 16, 1971, ang titulo original na binigay sa parokya na ito ay Nuestra Senora de la Paz y Buen Viaje sa salitang Espanyol, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage sa Ingles, Birhen ng Kapayapaan at Mabuting Paglalakbay sa Pilipino. At kung maalaala pa ninyo, noong February 18, 1981, isa pang Santo Papa ang dumating dito mismo sa atin. Siya ay si Pope John Paul II. Kaya naman ang ating simbahan ay nabiyayahan ng two popes, two saints. Medyo malapit na nga naman ang mga masasayang araw na ito. Kaya ang tanong, ano ang dapat at kailangan natin gawin? Paano natin paghahandaan ito? Sabihin na lang natin na sa tatlong pamamaraan, dapat natin ipagpatuloy ang ating ginagawa nung simula pa bilang isang parokya, panalangin, pagkakaisa, at pangarap. Una sa lahat ay ang panalangin, panalangin sa simbahan at mga tahanan. Walang masigit pa kaysa panalangin ng mga pamilya natin, the family that prays together, stays together. Ang pangalawa ay ang pagkakaisa. Dapat magtulungan tayong lahat sa pagpapalaganap ng mga programa ng parokya tungo sa taong 2021, gaya ng renewal, reach out, at recruitment. Ang Katekista 21, Believe in Someone, Believe with Someone. At mapapansin ninyo sa harapan ng simbahan, meron tayong isang malaking tarpaulin kung saan nakalagay ang programa buwan-buwan. Sumulod tayo, sumabay tayo, sama-sama tayo, ang ating Paris Pastoral Council, Steering Committee, mga Paris Organizations, dapat asahan natin na ang lahat na iyan ay manguna sa ating mga programa. At ang pangatlo ay ang pangarap. Pangarap tayo. Ang tao na walang pangarap ang buhay ay mahirap. Ang tao na may pangarap, ang buhay ay masarap. Ano ang pangarap natin? Mangarap tayo para sa lahat. Mangarap tayo para sa tagumpay pagdating ng 2021. Mangarap tayo ng pangkalahatang kaligtasan at mangarap tayo ng mas malalim na kabanalan. Sa tulong ng Birhen ng Del Pantondo, Birhen ng Kapayapaan at Mabuting Paglalakbay, Nuestra Senyora de la Salud, 
sa tulong ng mga banal at santo, San Pablo VI, San Juan Pablo II, San Ezequiel Moreno, San Agustin, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Kalungsod, at sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. Huwag nating kalimutan, walang imposible para sa isang simbahan na punong-puno ng panalangin, pagkakaisa, at pangarap. Amen. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered this afternoon on the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider for this afternoon is Reverend Father Joel Villarwen, OAR. Please rise. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Happy Valentine's Day. In love ba kayo? Yes. Lakas ng mga babaeng sumigaw ah. <laughs> Tanong ko ulit, in love ba kayo? lalaki naman mas malakas. Araw ng puso, today is the day of the heart, the day to let others feel the love and to let ourselves be in love also. But today, Sunday, we are invited by our Lord Jesus Christ to think about ourselves. How do we love those who are rejected by the society? How do we love those who are rejected by our families? How do we welcome them in our lives? And so, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins 
to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The passage from Leviticus describes how the Israelites dealt with the persons stricken with leprosy. Their fear and abhorrence of this disease serve as a background of Jesus' encounter with the leper. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a scab or postule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron, the priest, or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his bird. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean. Since he is in fact unclean, he shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, 
whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confessed my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. You just exalt all you upright of heart. I turn to the Lord in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Paul reminds us Christians that we always be mindful of God in our, in our lives. Whatever we do must be done for the God's glory. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise. has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung sinong in love dyan, sabayan niyo ako sa pagkanta. Bakit nga bang puso pag nagmamahal na ay sa diyan na kapag 
tataka Ang bawat sandali Lagi nang may ngiti Dahil langit ang nadarama Para bang ang lahat ay walang hangganan Dahil sa tamis na nararanasan Kung mula sa puso ay tunay nga ganyan Init ng pag-ibig ating pagsaluhan Kung mayroong hadlang di ko papayagan Or aking ipaglalaban Kung mula sa puso ay tunay nga ganyan. Yung mga na-inlove dyan, palakpakan nyo naman yung katabi nyo inlove din. Iwan ko lang, nakamaskara kasi kayo eh. Malungkot ba kayo? Hindi naman ah. Oh. Oh, may jowa ba kayo? <laughs> ang, dami, <laughs> ang dami kasi nag-text sa akin, ang dami nagme-message. Tapos sinasabi sa Father, pagdasal mo naman na sa Valentine's Day na to, magkakaroon na ako ng jowa. <laughs> eh, sabi ko, sige, pagdasal ko lang po. Pero other things, baka na po ang bahala. Basta pagdadasal, gagawin ko po. No? So, Valentine's Day, tayo po ay... Uh, napaka-important yung ano din to sa atin, na panahon sa atin, no? dami nakakatanggap ng flowers, yung mga surprise yung iba, yung iba naman alam na alam na. No? E, kung makatanggap yung isang babae, lalo na yung bouquet of flowers, parang nasa alapaap kayo, ano? parang kayong lumulutang sa langit. <laughs> No, eh, kami naman mga kalalakihan, tumatanggap ba tayo ng buke? Kung bibigyan kayo ng buke, anong feel nyo? <laughs> Sabi nga eh, pang babae lang daw yan. Sabi ko, hindi ah, pag nakatanggap yung lalaki, okay din yan, ayaw lang nila pong iparamdam. Ayaw lang nilang ipakita na in-appreciate nila. Po, natutuwa din po kami, kami mga malalaki pag nakatanggap kami no, ng flowers. Pero wag na po niyong pag-aksayahan po ang flowers dahil pandemic po, no? e, mahirap ang pera. Kaya kung hindi kayo nakatanggap ng, ng bouquet of flowers, wag naman kayo magalit sa mga asawa po ninyo. Ha? Kasi sila po iniisip din lang po niya makakain yung kinabukasan. Hmm. Kaya... Pagpasensya nyo na po kung wala man silang ibibigay sa inyo na, na bouquet of flowers. Ang importante po ay tunay na nagmamahalan kayo. Ngayon po, oh, last Sunday, narinig po natin, umaalala pa natin yung ginawa ni Jesus Christ, no? How He was uh, really finding time to pray. Sa kanyang pagdadasal po, yan po ay nare-renew po siya. No? Sa kanyang pagdadasal po, nagkakaroon po siya ng recharging, nagkaroon siya ng mas malakas pa na energy para makapagpagaling and also to preach the gospel. Ngayon naman po, pinaparamdan pa rin niya sa atin ang kanyang pagmamahal. At sa ating pong ibanghelyo ngayon, isang tao namang napakaswerte, no? na nakaramdam na naman ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Sa first reading, makita natin, di pa ba, narinig natin yung first reading kung paano yung mga uh, mga le lepers, no? Paano yung mga kitongin? Paano silang uh, namumuhay? Yung bang sinasabi ba, kailangan yung damit nila, iba, tapos kailangan ay sabihin nila, i-declare nila na I am unclean, madumi ako, no? So, what a humiliation. Pag nakita ng mga tao yung sabi nila, ay, wala iyan, no? Hindi iyan pinagpala ng Diyos. Para bang parusa. Pag nakasalikit ng mga kituwing ganun, parang parusa. So, they do not have the right to be with the people. So, ang social life nila, zero. 
because they are rejected by the society, they're isolated, at hindi tayo, hindi, hindi pwede silang uh, hawakan ng ibang tao dahil magiging unclean din po yung ibang tao. Pero ano ginawa ni Jesus Christ? Hinipo pa po niya yung kitongin. Hinipo pa po niya. Hindi niya inisip na baka mamaya i-rejectin siya ng mga tao. Sabihin na unclean siya dahil no, ay hinawakan niya yung unclean na tao. Pero hindi niya po. Hindi siya, na, hindi, hindi siya na-disturb doon. Ginawa pa rin niya dahil sa tunay niyang pagmamahal. Kaya nga sabi natin eh, iba talaga no? Iba yung tunay na pagmamahal. Kaya sabi ng kanta eh, bakit nga ba ang puso pag nagmamahal ay sadyang nakapagtataka. Sadyang nakapagtataka. Dahil kung ang tao ay tunay na nagmamahal, sabihin natin, para bang yung nga iba, marami nagsasabi niya, love is blind, no? Love is blind. E pag nagmahal daw, hindi na nakapag-isip ng maayos. Pag nagmahal daw, hindi na, hindi na makakaramdam ng sakit o kung ano-ano pa niya, basta nagmamahal. Para bang sabihin natin, eh, mayroon na siyang anesthesia sa ano, sa sakit, basta nagtunay nagmamahal, no? Pero hindi naman po yan, love is blind. Ang totoong pagmamahal po ay kitang-kita talaga. Kaso nga lang, ang tunay na pagmamahal, talaga nakapagtatakayan dahil iyan po ang ibinigay sa atin na halimbawa ng ating Panginoon kung paano siyang nagmahal. Kaya nga tayong mga tao, kung isipin natin sa ating makitid na pag-iisip, talagang pambihira ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Yung mga ayaw natin, tinatanggap yun ng ating Panginoon. Hmm. Yung mga naku, pinandidirian natin, minamahal yun ng ating Panginoon. At hindi lang po ang ating Panginoon, ang dami po mga santo natin na nagpakita noon. No? Isang napakagandang halimbawa po, si Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Kung paano niya ini-embrace, kung paano niya Inaalagaan ang mga may sakit. Kung paano niya pinapakain ang mga may sakit. Na kung titingnan natin, na kung sino ba yung nakakadiri? Hindi po ba? Kung minsan nga, kahit nanay mo, parang ayaw mong lapitan dahil medyo mabaho. Dahil may sakit na, nasa kama. Oo. Bedridden, hindi na makatayo. So, dyan na lang ginagawa lahat sa kama. Kumisay nga, ayaw mo pumasok ng kwarto niya dahil nandidiri ka. Kumisay po, mayroong mga taong ganun. Pero mayroong mga anak na hindi, parang hindi nila iniinda. Parang hindi na nila naamoy kung ano man yung mabahong nandyan. Dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal. Kaya pagmamahal na ito na po ay nakapagtataka. Ang dami na gagawa na kung iisipin natin parang super, parang hindi kayang gawin ng isang ordinaryong tao lamang. Dahil po sa tunay na nagmamahal, hindi po tayo naging ordinaryong tao. Pag tayo tunay na nagmamahal, tayo po ay parang sabihin nating divine. Dahil we are sharing in the divinity of Christ. Pag mayroon tayong tunay na pagmamahal. So, yung ating criterion o kriteriya natin sa pagmamahal bilang mga tao ay ibang-iba po sa kriteriya ng ating Diyos, ng ating Panginoon at sa lahat ng mga sumusunod sa Kanya. Kaya, nakapagtataka, pambihira, super. Pero iyan po ay binibiyayaan ng Diyos. Nakapagtataka, ang pag-ibig din. Kayang gawin ang napakaraming mga bagay na parang hindi natin kaya bilang ordinaryong tao lamang. Kailangan na magkaroon ng tunay na pagmamahal sa puso. Another thing po, bakit kaya sabihin natin no, na uh, nahihirapan tayong magmahal? Bakit yung mga nire-reject ng society, tayo din nire-reject din natin? Meron tayo, mga politicians natin, no? parang diring-diri tayo sa kanila. 
yung mga officials natin na sabihin natin, mga corrupt officials natin, daring dari tayo sa kanila, nahirapan tayong magmahal sa kanila. Yung mga criminals, yung mga nasa kulungan, bakit pag, pag na, sabihin natin kulungan, iparang daring dari tayo? Bakit kaya ganito? Si Mother Teresa of Calcutta, I learned really from her when she said, If you judge people, you have no time to love them. Pag lagi po tayong nanghuhusga ng mga tao, wala na po tayong opportunity, wala na po tayong oras para mahalin sila. Dahil kaagad-agad nagmarka sa atin yan, ay wala, makasalanan ka, ay prostitute ka. Sino pa ba mga kitongin sa ating lipunan ngayon? No? Yung mga criminals, mga drug pushers, no? mga, kahit mga drug addicts nga, di ba? Yung mga lasinggero, yan ang mga kitungin sa atin ngayon. No? Di ba? Paayaw natin makisalamuha sa kanila. Ayaw natin silang maging parte ng buhay natin. Ayaw din natin maging parte ng buhay nila. We judge them. Instead na tulungan natin ang napakarami mga tao, anong ginagawa natin? Iniiwasan natin sila. Kaya nga sinasabi, pag lagi tayong nanghuhusga ng ating kapwa, wala po tayong oras para mahalin sila. Kaya kailangan, kaya nga si Jesus Christ, hindi siya, He has all the right to judge us. Kaya sila naman talaga ang tunay na judge natin eh. Pero hindi niya tayo inuhusgahan. Ano pa ginagawa niya? Iniintindi niya tayong, tayo. He tried to accept us. He is accepting us. He is welcoming us in His life. He forgives us. He welcomes us in His life. That's why He is full of love. He is full of love because He does not judge. Ngunit tayo, mas marami tayong judgment kisa sa pagmamahal. Kaya marami po tayong nire-reject sa buhay natin. Marami po tayong ina-isolate sa buhay natin. Marami po tayong kinapupuutan sa buhay natin. Because instead of understanding them, instead of comprehending them, Instead of welcoming them, we reject them. We judge them. That's why we have no time to love them. At ang pangatlo po, na pwede ko ma-share sa inyo, isang reminder po para sa ating lahat. Reminder. Ano ba itong reminder na ito? Kung minsan sinasabi natin, I'm happy. No? I'm happy, pero yung mukha mo hindi naman happy. <laughs> o sabi mo, mabait ako, mabuti akong tao, pero yung mukha mo, ang ginagawa mo hindi naman, wala naman kabaitan, wala naman kabutihan ginagawa. So, ang reminder lang sa atin, if you are happy, remind your face na happy ka. No? Remind your face, kasi kung minsan nakakalimutan natin yan, ano? Kiniklaim natin na, ay ay, masaya ako, pero yung mukha natin, hindi nagpapakita na masaya tayo. We welcome persons, we welcome people in our lives, pero yung ginagawa natin, hindi po nag-welcome ng ibang tao sa buhay natin. So, nakalimutan natin, i-remind ang sarili natin. Nakalimutan natin, i-remind ang mukha natin na masaya tayo. So, if we are saved, we are saved by our Lord Jesus Christ. So, tell your face that you are safe. No? Tell yourself that you are safe. Tell your face that you are safe. Kung mabuti kang tao, tell your face na mabuti kang tao. No? Huwag mong kalimutang sabihin yan. Dahil, ang dami pong nangyayari sa buhay natin ngayon na kulang tayo sa ano? Sa information. Kulang tayo sa tiwala sa ating kapwa. Dahil kung minsan po, hindi naman pinapakita yung tiwala sa kapwa natin. Maalala ko pa yung one time, doon po sa ibang bansa, ano? 
nagsimba po ako. E, pagsimba ko po, lahat nakaupo pa lang, yung isang babae po sa harap ko, yung bag niya nasa gilid lang po niya. Nung tayo na po nang luluhod, lumuhod po siya, yung bag po niya nasa upuan niya. Alam po anong ginawa niya? Tumingin po sa likod, <laughs> nilingon po ako, at kinuha yung kanyang bag. <laughs> Sabi ko sa sarili ko, mukha ba akong magnanakaw? <laughs> <laughs> yun, ang, yun, ang, yun ang naisip ko kaagad, no? So, parang na-insulto ako doon. Pero tama naman yung ginawa niya. Eh, kung sakaling magnanakaw nga ako, eh, di good ba yung bag niya, di ba? Dapat iwasan din natin, no? So, tayo namang, uh, ano po, wag, we should not facilitate also others to commit sin. Kasi kuminsan tayo rin po ang dahilan kung bakit nagkakasala yung iba. Di ba? Kung saan-saan natin nilagay yung mga gamit natin, kung saan-saan natin nilalagay yung mga pera natin, pag may nakakita, eh, siyempre, natutukso sila doon. So, kasama tayo sa, 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 sala, sa sala na yun. Di ba? Nagkasala sila ng dahil sa atin. Dahil sa pagiging burara natin. No, sinasabi nga natin. No? So, we have to be responsible of it also no? for our actions and we should not lead other, other people to commit sin. So we should spread love, yes. We should let other people also feel the love. At kung love na love tayo ng ating Panginoon, huwag natin kalimutan. Don't forget. We should not forget to tell our face that we are loved by our Lord Jesus Christ. Nagsagayon, kahit saan man tayo pupunta, ah, yung mukha na ito, kung minsan eh, pwedeng sabihin nila na eh, mukhang magnanakaw or what. Pero... Ito yung binigay sa akin na aking Panginoon. Eh, sorry na lang. No? Pang importante, kahit gaano yung mukha natin, kung mayroon tayong ngiti, di po ba? Kung ma maamo yung mukha natin, na hindi tayo masamang tao, nakikita naman yan sa mukha natin. Eh, no? So, pag happy tayo, let us tell our face. So, huwag po natin kalimutan, napakasimple lang po ng message ng ating Panginoon sa araw na ito para sa atin. No? ang tunay na pagmamahal. Iparamdam natin ang pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa. Ang tunay na pagmamahal yung galing talaga sa puso na ginagawa natin, no? ay nakapagtataka. Super. No? Nakaka-impress. Dahil nagagawa ng isang tunay na nagmamahal ang mga bagay-bagay na ordinaryong tao hindi kayang gawin. And another thing, no? na dapat natin isipin lagi, no? ang hindi tayo pwedeng nang huhusga ng ating kapwa. Dahil pag lagi tayo nang huhusga ng ating kapwa, wala tayong panahon para mahalin sila. So we should find time to love them by understanding them, by welcoming them in our lives also. And the third is very simple, a reminder for all of us. If you are happy, if you are safe, if you are joyful, tell your face. And God bless to all of us. Amen. Please rise. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, born of the, of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance, accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We look to the Lord who gives, preserves, and saves life as He did with the poor leper. May our loving Father give us a loving heart similar to His as we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons lead the flock with the compassionate heart of Jesus, our Savior. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May political and civil leaders move with compassion to the Christ of those who are suffering because of racial and religious discrimination, violence, and terrorism, and render to them justice and peace, we pray. Lord, Lord of life, life listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. May the Lord make us all his instrument to comfort those who suffer, to lift the spirit of the depressed, and to bring his love and hope to those broken in body and spirit, we pray. Lord, Lord of life, listen, listen to, our, to prayer. our prayer. May our society never lose respect for human dignity and life. May we care for and defend the elderly, the sick, the poor, the disabled, the refugees, and children, we pray. Lord, Lord of life, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. May the Lord welcome our departed brothers and sisters into his kingdom, where they will behold God face to face, we pray. Lord, Lord of life, life listen, listen to, our, to prayer. our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of, Lord of life, life listen, listen to our, to our prayer. prayer. God our Father, your Son Jesus Christ revealed how close you are to us, especially to those who suffer. Hear our prayers and give us joy and serenity as we continue to work for your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by His suffering, cons concealed out our sins by His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, Holy o Lord, and all your created right, he gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrifice of victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that you may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Ezekiel Moreno, Saint Augustine, Saint Francis Xavier, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and brother our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God his Father, our Father, and so with confidence we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest lover, our Savior. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please be seated. For a properly and orderly communion, we will do it row by row. When it's your turn to line up for communion, put down your face mask, receive the Holy Communion by the hand, and consume it before going back to your seats. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Pagkatapos po ng ating banalamisa, ang lahat ay inaanyayahan po na umakyat sa ating Escala Maria at doon ay maglaan ng maiksing panalangin. Sa darating po ng Merkules, February 17, itong darating na po ng Merkules, ating pong ipagdiliwang ang Merkules ng Abo o Ash Wednesday. Ang araw na ito ay sa tradisyon ng ating simbahang katoliko ay araw ng ayuno at abstinensya o fasting and abstinence. Ang mga oras, ang mga oras natin sa Merkules ng Abo ay 6 a.m., 5 p.m. at 6.30 p.m. Ang sakramento ng kumpisal ay panawagan din ng simbahan sa panahon ng kwaresma bago ang Semana Santa. Ang oras ng kumpisal sa umaga ay alas 9 ng umaga at sa hapon naman ay alas 3 ng hapon. Ang rito ng abo pagkatapos ng panalangin ay gagawin bago matapos ang bananamisa. Ang abo ay ibubuhos sa korona lamang ng ulo. Habang sinasabi ang mga silita, ikaw ay mula sa abo at ibabalik sa abo. Tayo ay muling magkakaroon ng second collection para sa alay kapwa na gaganapin sa anin na linggo ng kwaresma mula sa ikadalamput isa ng Pebrero hanggang ikadalamput walo ng buwan ng Marso. 
ang malilikom sa koleksyon ay gagamitin upang tumugon sa mga pangangailangan ng ating mga kapatid na biktima ng COVID-19 pandemic at mga bagyo. Ito ay bilang tugon at tulong para sa mga nasa kahirapan. Sa darating ng March 16 ay ating ipagdiriwang ang ikalimampung taong pagkakatatag ng ating simbahan bagamat ipagdiriwang po natin ito ng March 19 kaalinsabay ng kapistahan ni San Jose. Para sa mga iba pang schedule, tignan po natin ang tarpulin na nasa harapan ng ating simbahan. Sama-sama po tayong manalangin, magsiluhod po ang lahat. Panalangin ng Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, Tungong 2021. Diyos naming Ama, Ikaw ay lubos naming kinikilala na nag-iisang buka ng lahat ng kaganapan at kaligtasan. Kami ay nananalangin upang taus-pusong magpasalamat sa ipinagkaloob na liwanag at karunungan alang-alang sa itinatag mong simbahan dito sa Delpan, na isang parokya sa tundo, Kristiyano at Katoliko. Sa ngalan ng aming bansang Pilipinas, na nagdiriwang ngayon ng ikalimang daan na taon ng Kristiyanismo, sama-sama naming pangalagaan ng simbahan na ito, kung saan sa liturhiya, kami ay tumatanggap araw-araw ng iyong biyaya at mga banal na sakramento sa loob ng limampung taon. Pagyamanin mo kami sa pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig ayon sa kalooban mo. Pagbuklorin mo ang mga pamilya namin tungo sa Golden Foundation Anniversary sa kalabing anim ng Marso 2021. Sa tulong at gabay ng mahal naming patrona, Birhen ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay kasama ang mga banal na sina San Pablo VI, San Juan Pablo II, San Agustin, San Ezequiel Moreno, San Lorenzo Ruiz at San Pedro Kalungsod. Loobin mong kami naway tumugon araw-araw sa iyong paaniyaya at panawagan upang kami rin naman ay maging banal. Inihiling namin ang lahat ng ito sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, Ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Duwalhati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung unang-una, ngayon at magpakailanman, at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Birhen ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay, ipanalangin mo kami. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.